another lesson, and this lesson is addition strategies. Now, this strategy is called making a 10. And what this thing is all about is, it's, it's about making a 10 when doing addition. See, when we have like a 10 plus 2, for example, that is easier to find the answer, and it, it's going to be a 12. Let's say we have a 10 plus 4. That's easier to, to solve, and we'll see that it would be a 14. So add in 10 and another number, it's a little easier to see and easier to add together. 10 and 7, 17. It's quicker, it's easier. So we may have a, a number that looks like a 9 plus 3. For example and when we see something like this we may want to count on our fingers or count certain things and count counters and use counters and things like that but there's a technique you can use to help you solve this and it is called making a 10 so we're gonna make this look something like these over here all right so let's go so here's a 10 frame we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is the nine plus three so let me get a three. One, two, and three. So this is how we're going to make a ten. So we have, we have a nine plus a three. And what is that equal to? Well, in your mind, doing a little mental math, you can say to yourself, Okay, here's, here's 9, and this is how the 9 look on a 10 frame. Just to further illustrate how a 9 look. And we can see we just need one more ball right here just to make this a 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1 from this 3 and bring it in here to make this a 10. So this 9 is going to be a 10. This 9 is going to be a 10. And since we took 1 from that 3, we see that we have 2 here. So it's going to be a 10 plus 2. And that is a little easier to look at. See a 10 and a 2, and that's easier to see. And we see that's a 12. So what this is saying is 9 plus 3 is 12. We found what 9 plus 3 is by just making a 10. We, we made this 9 into a 10, which in turn took 1 from this 3, which make it a 2. So it's going to be a 10 plus 2, which equals 12. So let's look at another example. So here's another example. What is 9... Plus 5. Well, you can quickly turn this 9 into a 10 and then do some addition. So here's the how a 9 looks on a 10 frame. So we can see, oh, we just need one more number to make this 9 a 10. So we take 1 from the 5 over in here, which, which just essentially turns it into a 10 so now it's a 10 plus 
And we have one, two, three, four. Four. So ten plus four is fourteen. So that is telling us that nine plus five is fourteen. You see, nine plus five is fourteen. And how we found that is we turned that nine into a ten. We made a ten, you know, we turned that nine into a ten by grabbing one from the five and bringing it over here. Which is going to be 4. And here's the 10 that we made. And then we add them because 10 plus 4 looks easier to add than a 9 plus a 5. Okay, let's do another example. Okay, in this example, we have 8 plus 4. And what does that equal to? 8 plus 4. Well, we can think to ourselves, 8, I, I know I need 2 more to make a 10. See, this is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I know I need 2 more to make a 10. So I'll, I'm going to take or transfer 2 from that 4 over here to make a 10 so i just made a 10 so the 10 plus what do we have here the two and now that's a little easier to look at a 10 plus two oh that's simple i can just look at it and say 12. so that means an eight plus a four is equal to 12. let me see okay let's let's do another one What about, let's look at 9 plus 8. So what does 9 plus 8 equal? Well, I know this 9 is close to 10. So I'm going to take 1 away from the 8, put it over here. So I just made a 10, 10 plus, and see I had 8 here, now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I know I took 1 from that 8 to make 7, oh so now this is easier to look at, 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. So that means 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. So, I just took one from here, put it over here, turn it to a 10. And this is going to be a 7, and I put them together, and we got 17. So, you can do that in your head. Also, without even writing it on paper. Let's do some examples that require a little more thinking. So, here we go. 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Nine plus what number is also equal to 15? So if 10 plus 5 is equal to 15, 9 plus what number equal 15? So, to do this, we're actually going to work backwards. Okay, if 10 plus 5 is 15, so here's 10 plus the 5, and that together is 15, because it's 10 here. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 9 plus what number gives us 15? Well, let's just take away from this 10 frame, and just shift this over bring this over and we can clearly see a 9 and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 9 and, and 6 is also 15. 9 and 6 is 15 and here's the 9 and 6 
And this... is the 10 and 5, which is over here. So it's the same thing. The only difference is just this moving back and forth. 10 and 5 is 15. 9 and 6, 15. Let's do another example. Okay. 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. Also, the same as saying 9 plus what number is 17? So 10 plus 7 is 17. And so is 9 plus some number is equal to 17. What is that? Well, here's 10. And here's 7. And if we turn this into a 9, by taking 1 away from this 10 frame, now this is 9. And what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. So 9 and 8 is 17, just as 10 plus 7 is 17. And using this 10 frame really helps. But this is just a, a little, just a couple of little more advanced examples on making 10. So, remember, to make a 10, for example, A 9 plus 8, and what that equal to? Well, we go like this, make that 9 to a 10, and you know, we took 1 from the 8, brought it over here, make the 9 to a 10, and found out that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, eight, so, a 9 plus 8 is the same thing as saying 10 plus 7, and that is equal to 17, therefore this is equal to 17, and that is making a 10. Thanks for watching, goodbye!